Hey, Reddit, I need to get something off my chest. I found out that my wife, let's call her Lisa, had been having an affair. In a whirlwind of emotions, I made a decision that forever changed the course of our lives. It all began when I stumbled upon some incriminating evidence on Lisa's phone. Text messages, explicit photos, and videos exchanged between her and another man. It was like a punch to the gut. The foundation of trust we had built over the years came crashing down in an instant. Anger, hurt, and betrayal flooded my heart. I couldn't let this go unnoticed. I wanted Lisa to understand the pain she had caused me and our family. And what better occasion than her 50th birthday party, a gathering of our closest friends and family. It might sound extreme, but I was fueled by a mix of anger and desperation. In the days leading up to the party, I meticulously crafted a PowerPoint presentation that would expose Lisa's affair. But as I worked on it, I had a change of heart. Instead of focusing solely on the incriminating evidence, I decided to showcase the beautiful moments we had shared over the years. During the party, I stood up and began my speech. I shared stories of how Lisa and I met, our wedding day, the birth of our daughter, and the countless happy memories we had created together. I wanted everyone to remember the love we once had. However, just as the atmosphere filled with warmth and nostalgia, I switched to the PowerPoint presentation. The screen changed, revealing the conversations between Lisa and her affair partner. Shock and disbelief washed over the faces of our guests as they saw the truth unfold before them. But the surprises didn't end there. I had taken a bold step and replaced Lisa's original birthday cake with one that displayed explicit images of her and her lover. As the cake was brought out, I encouraged everyone to sing Happy Birthday to Lisa, who was now visibly distraught. It was a jarring moment that no one expected. To add the final blow, I handed Lisa divorce papers in front of everyone. The room fell silent and tears streamed down her face. It was a devastating moment for her. In the aftermath, Lisa's family, including her parents, condemned my actions, claiming I had gone too far and publicly humiliated her. They thought it was unnecessary and cruel. However, to my relief, my own family, including our daughter, stood by me. They understood the pain I had endured and believed that my actions were justified. Reflecting on it now, I can't help but wonder if there was a better way to handle the situation. Perhaps seeking counseling or discussing our issues privately would have been more appropriate. But in the heat of the moment, I felt compelled to expose the truth in such a dramatic fashion. Reddit, I share this story not to encourage others to follow in my footsteps, but rather as a cautionary tale. Infidelity can be devastating, and the emotions it stirs can lead us down unexpected paths. Seek support, communicate openly, and consider all the consequences before making decisions that could impact your life and those around you. Edit first and foremost, I want to clarify some details that were left out in my original post. My ex-wife. Lisa didn't contest the divorce. She acknowledged her affair and, surprisingly, cited my demanding work schedule as the reason she sought comfort elsewhere. According to her, the affair partner made her feel young and desired again, filling a void that she believed I couldn't. My daughter, who suspected something was amiss, had been misled by Lisa. She manipulated the situation feeding her misinformation to maintain their secret. It breaks my heart to think that my daughter had to endure the confusion and emotional turmoil caused by their actions. Speaking of the affair partner, it turns out he used to work for me before the pandemic hit, and I had to let him go due to financial constraints. Little did I know that he would find his way back into our lives, this time as the catalyst for the destruction of my marriage. Following the incident at the birthday party, my former in-laws threatened legal action against me, believing I had gone too far in exposing Lisa's infidelity. However, Lisa managed to talk them out of it, admitting that she deserved the consequences of her actions. It's a relief to know that at least she took responsibility for the pain she caused. Since the divorce, Lisa has expressed deep regret for her affair. She claims to have realized the gravity of her actions and the toll it took on our family. While I appreciate her remorse, it doesn't change the fact that the trust we once shared has been irreparably shattered. On a personal note, I've been embracing single life and rediscovering myself outside of the confines of a failing marriage. 
It hasn't been easy, and I won't deny that I've battled with dark thoughts. But the love I have for my daughter is my anchor, the reason I stay strong and keep moving forward. I could never put her through the pain of losing a parent to suicide. To those who question the authenticity of my story, claiming it's fake or exaggerated, I have a simple message. Kiss my ass. This is my life, my pain, and my journey. I shared it with the intention of finding support and connecting with others who may have faced similar struggles. If you choose not to believe it, that's your prerogative, but don't diminish the reality of my experience. Thank you to those who have shown empathy, offered kind words, and shared their own stories. Your support has meant the world to me during this difficult time. Let's remember that life can be challenging, but it's our resilience and the support of others that help us find our way through the darkest moments.